G'day, get ready. Bitcoin has dropped back to the high $65,000 level. Game theory, it starts now. Good news, the leveraged Bitcoin ETFs are out. I'm playing. A million stipulations show the US debt is actually on an unsustainable path. Go figure. Morgan Stanley and UBS are in a race to launch a Bitcoin ETF. Things are about to get wild pretty quickly. Janet Yellen continues to gaslight the world. We've got this crazy interview, a couple of articles to get through, and we'll dive into the Bitcoin multiplier effect. What it actually is, this is the Bitcoin news with the fast facts. Shout out to everyone watching live or watching the replay. Real quick, friendly reminder, Bitcoin has been a profitable investment 99.92% of the day since its launch on January 3rd, 2009. This means there's only been a handful of days, just six to be exact, where investing in Bitcoin wouldn't have turned a profit. When in doubt, zoom out. We do have that beautiful red buy button to I'll bring it up. This is the debt just going up and to the right forever. Not a good look. Red button. There it is. Push it. Enjoy. It is a grand and glorious day. We'll jump into the price shortly. Don't get freaked out. Don't get flipped out. This is a gift from Satoshi Nakamoto himself. Now, let's set this up here. This chart shows how many years it takes for each fiat currency to lose 50% of its buying power if today's inflation rates remained consistent. The red line marks the average number of years work before retirement. There will be no retiring if one chooses to save in fiat. Working roughly for about 42 years, we'll see Australia here on this chart to about 17 and a half, 18 years to lose 50% of its purchasing power. Argentina is pretty much on a year, maybe a little bit less. Turkey too, by the looks of it. China. Looks like they're holding their purchasing power pretty strong, which is a pretty surprising. The rest of them, they're all going down to zero. Opt out, you can buy Bitcoin, but we'll continue to go into it. Lynn Alden, if the Fed keeps rates steady, then federal interest expenses will increase $500 billion throughout this year. If the Fed cuts rates by 1.5%, they, then they will increase interest expenses by only $100 billion. Well, but if they do that, they increase the risk of oil price re-acceleration. I believe they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. So a million simulations show the US debt is on an unsustainable path. We're going to come back to this video of Janet Yellen gaslighting the world. Quite a few sound bites. We're not going to play the whole video, but we need to go through it. So... Bloomberg reported Tuesday it conducted a million simulations on the US debt outlook and found 88% of them show borrowing is on an unsustainable path. I'd like to know what happened with the other 12%. What scenarios were there? Perpetual war to be able to keep the dollar in a stronghold. The findings come after a forecast by the Congressional Budget Office that indicates the national debt will grow to an astonishing $54 trillion in the next decade. Let's just bring up... This, another $20 trillion on top of it. Prints and money, talk about that. And Bitcoin's not going up forever? Of course it is. There's, if this, if they're going to debase it forever, Bitcoin's going up forever. Anyway, um, the result of an aging population rising federal health care costs, higher interest rates are also compounding the pain of higher debt. And I'll show you one more thing on the debt clock uh, very shortly. It's a great website, usdebtclock.org. Payments are expected to triple from nearly $475 billion in fiscal year 2020. Well, to a stunning $1.4 trill in 2032. How commonplace is the word trillion gotten these days? We don't even blink. I believe the US is adding a trillion dollars every 100 days to their debt. It's crazy. By 2053, the interest payments are projected to surge to $5.4 trillion. To put that into perspective, that will be more than the U.S. spends on Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and all other mandatory and discretionary spending programs. Talk about the mooches there at the Federal Reserve enslaving the general population. There's two things on the debt clock that we'll go through, actually. When factoring in the market's current outlook on interest rates, the jet to debt to GDP ratio is expected to rise to 123% 2034. Higher simulation scenario, the jet to GDP burden could be as high as 133.9% 2034, 185% in 2050, the report shows. 
how's that going to last without everyone totally getting wrecked? The national debt, which measures what the US owes its creditors, hit 34.5 trill Friday afternoon, according to new data published by the Treasury Department. By comparison, just four decades ago, the national debt hovered around 907 billion. 40 years, 35x in the wrong way. It's absolutely crazy. So we'll get into this video of Janet Yellen. I reposted this article yesterday at Sean Clark 911. So you can watch this whole whole video in 14 minutes. I did listen to it. It's crazy. The whole time she skirts around it. Shout out to everyone that is watching live. You can smash the like. But just on this one topic, it's crazy. Okay. Uh, you, in 2021, you, though, you did say that inflation was transitory. Do you, do you regret saying that now? Is I regret saying it was transitory. Um, it has come down, but I think transitory means uh, a few weeks or months to most, most people, and that um, it's, it's lasted longer than that. Last year, many economists predicted a recession this year. We haven't seen it. It looks like we may not see one this year. But consumer is spending record amounts on credit card. Uh, in order to just survive for, for basic things. They can't afford basic items. How long do you think this credit card debt accumulation can continue? Well, credit quality remains excellent, and um, charge-off rates, delinquencies, have moved up slightly, but from historically low levels. Um, most households, even including the lowest-income households, saw their overall financial position improve um, during the pandemic. Their average level of cash balances went up. Their overall finances improved. Now, over time, they've spent some of that buffer of savings, and particularly lower-income households are borrowing again on credit cards. I see that as a normalization. These people are sick, eh? I see that as normalization. That's crazy. Gaslighting everyone. Oh, it's just going back to normal. No, it's not. Everyone's been stolen at a remarkable pace. Proof and point. So there's a couple of things here on the US debt clock that I want to uh, point out here. US unfunded liabilities, $214 trillion. Liabilities per citizen, 636,000 US dollars. This is in the bottom corner. I can't really get it to zoom in nice and easy. Let's see if I can make that easier just check it out where uh there we go the, this number here us debt clock dog at all look at all those numbers there it's enslaving people didn't choose that didn't choose to have my purchasing pr been stolen from me for all that effort that we put in for our whole lives just buy stack and chill ladies and gentlemen we'll dive into the price i understand it's a little bit down today it's awesome it's, don't get freaked out by this. People still do. 65914 You get way more Satoshis for every dollar that you spend. One more video that I want to show you really quickly. We're only going to play a little bit of it. And then we'll dive into the numbers and what's going on. Talk about the challenges facing the country. And debt is one of them. Um, you know, the, the debt is just under 100% of GDP. It's set to go up in our uh, projections. Net interest outlays, does the interest we pay on that debt is rising. And uh, in, wow. in 10 years, it's going to be much larger than what we spend on either defense or non-defense discretionary spending. That's pretty crazy, hey? With the debt higher than what they spend on defense. Yeah, like we don't want to spend much on defense. I understand that. It'd be better if the world was at peace, but... That's not how it's going to work out. The school, still, everyone is going to spend an exorbitant amount on debt. If you still have your Bitcoin on exchange, please get it off. If you need somebody to hold your hand, reach out to today's sponsor, The Bitcoin Way. This team's absolutely epic. They can teach you about air gap in your wallet. Your Bitcoin wallet should never touch the internet for any reason. It shouldn't even be connected to your computer ever. There's no reason for that to happen. If you need a little bit of help, a little bit of peace of mind, if you're not sleeping easy at night, if you want to learn to be your own bank, setting up a node, bypassing the third parties, the people that are in the way, reach out to the Bitcoin way. The first 30 minutes is free. The team's awesome. They've helped me with why I set up. Link top of the description and say good day.
let them know you heard about it from me or not. I don't care. If you need a little bit of help, you need to sleep easy at night. They're an awesome team. Do the right thing. Maybe you don't need them. Maybe you do. Find out what you're missing. Now, Kathy Wood, this is a tiny little video. I'll see if I can bring it up a bit bigger. I think this is a good way to explain what's going on, to have a little bit of perspective here and convince yourself that it's a remarkable opportunity to buy a stack and chill. Anyway, shout out to everyone that is watching live, watching the replay. Let's get it. What's your analysis of why it's moved the way it has? Okay, uh, up dramatically. Right. You have the ETFs. There's something else going on around the world. There are currency devaluations taking place that people are not talking about. The Nigerian Naira is down 50, 60 percent in the last nine months. Egypt just devalued by 40 percent. Argentina continuing to devalue. I think this is a flight to safety, believe it or not, taking place, a hedge against devaluation, a hedge against a loss of purchasing power and wealth. That's very important. And we saw this even here last, uh, last year in the United States. Regional banks imploded. Right. Bitcoin went up 40 uh, percent. Bitcoin does not have counterparty risk. I think, and, and we're putting out a piece right. in the next few weeks, which is this is both get this, a risk on asset, and so you talk about right. the NASDAQ. The risk on. But it is risk off. I remember we got in at $250 when Greece was threatening to right. leave the euro, right? But is that folks that are speculating about currency, or is that folks in Nigeria and in Greece and other places saying, I got to get my money out of this currency and, and move it themselves? Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, yes. I think this is an insurance policy uh, against uh, rogue regimes or against just horrible fiscal and monetary policies. What's your now? Kathy is spot on. It is a flight to safety. We're going to see it more and more. We do see Gargoyle saying she's a perma bull now. Uh, Hernando, Kathy is a little hotty. And uh, g'day to everyone that is watching live. We'll jump in for a bit of a banter at the end. The best part of the live stream, my favorite part. Kathy is a permable. I'm a permable. And the reason being is, well, I'll just bring up the deck clock again. Let's, um, well, just look at any, any of these numbers going, going up. How can you not be perma bullish on Bitcoin? It makes, like, this is what's happening. It's TikTok next block, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm with Kathy's camp price targets. Probably not as bullish as Kathy is in the short term, long term, 100%, up, down, or sideways. Don't try to time it. Just buy, stack, and chill. Or sell. I'm buying all week. Thanks very much. But whatever Bitcoin you have now, probably got 75% or 100% of the Bitcoin that you're ever going to own. Bitcoin is taking over the monetary asset class of the world, the store of value. Will it happen as quick as we think? No, but it's not going to take as long as we think either. Don't fade it. Don't sell Bitcoin. Just buy stack and chill forever. It's going up. Like sell Bitcoin into what? It doesn't make any sense. BlackRock and Fidelity, they now own a combined 402,697 Bitcoin worth 26.7 billion for their spot Bitcoin ETFs. There's a perpetual bid now on Bitcoin. Pension funds are start going to allocating like one, two, three, five percent into Bitcoin. It's not going to stop. This thing is going up and to the right forever. They're printing money all over the world. We show you this chart right at this, not that one, this chart right at the start. It doesn't take long to lose your purchasing power. Once the world wakes up, we're off to the races and you can live in on Bitcoin standard. Now, it really doesn't take long. Six days, Bitcoin hasn't been profitable and people are freaking out. It's crazy. We're at 65,923. Buy, stack and chill. Block height, 837,583. By 51 a.m. April 4th, 2024. I got a nice surprise for a couple of people. Now, sets per USD, 1,517. Every $10, you get 50. Over 15,000 Satoshis. If it's only $10, you've got a bank account. Stack. Buy, stack, and chill. Take it as advice. It's good advice. <laughs> if you need permission, just hit that button, the red button today. It's glorious. Look, April 20th, 2024, 420. 16 days, 17 hours, 4 minutes, and 15 seconds. 
2,417 blocks to go. It's, it's a special time in Bitcoin's journey. It only happens every four years. It's super exciting. And will Bitcoin pump the day of the halving? Probably not. Hopefully it dumps and we get another big red buy button. Will it? Who knows? Who cares? Just buy as much as you can. Opt out. This is the peaceful revolution. This is taking charge of your future, your financial future, your progeny's financial future. Do whatever you can to get as much Bitcoin as you can. If you need a little push, push along to give yourself permission, it's the right thing to do where we are. Now, the multiplier effect. People are talking about Bank of America, 108x multiplier effect and people getting all uh, their knickers in a knot and it's more like 5%. So Checkmate James Check is an incredible person, lead analyst at Glassnode uh, on-chain analytics company. So there's a time when a chorus of Bitcoin analysts were banging on about unrealistic 100x multiplier effect per dollar invested. I proposed it was much closer to 5% up to 10x only in low liquidity spikes. Since Jan 2023, the Bitcoin market cap is about up about $1 trillion and saying in its own right, we'll jump into that, it's in the, just under $1.3 trill today. The realized cap is up $172 billion in the same period and ETFs only absorbed about $12 billion. The realized cap is climbing because old coins are revalued higher, both from GBDC, 30%, but the rest by hodlers selling. The 100x multiplier was absolutely, or was always bollocks. Definitely Australian, mate. As it assumed no coins were sold, higher prices create sell-side supply. And forgetting to account for this is a factor that will separate great from not-so-great analysts. This cycle, in my honest opinion. If you're not already following Checkmate, James Check, well worth watching at Sean Clark 911 I've just reposted. Incredible. And there was a podcast that we did together. He's a very smart, intelligent guy. So, good news. I said this tongue-in-cheek. If you're trading Bitcoin on leverage, you're a degen. If you know what you're doing, you're all good. And obviously it doesn't apply. 99.99% of people are going to get wrecked to the up and to the downside. Makes Bitcoin even more volatile. Is it bad? No. People do what people do. It's now part of the market. It's 2x leverage long and short Bitcoin ETFs now available for trading. Just three months after the first Bitcoin ETF was launched. So the SEC government spent a decade protecting investors by denying them access to corn and three months later they're helping investors get wrecked with leverage. Sums it up pretty well. There's uh, comments by Dale Warburton, another legend in the Bitcoin space. So the first ever 2x and minus 2x spot Bitcoin ETFs hit the market today from ProShares, BitU and SBINT. Tickets could have been better. BitX is 2x but it tracks futures and BitI is negative 1x, but is also futures. Fee, 95 basis points on both. Haven't traded too much so far, under a million dollars. Stay away, have fun, stay in poor. A lot of people are going to get wrecked with it. Makes the price more volatile to up and to the downside. Is what it is. Traders are going to be traders. Wall Street, whatever they can do with Bitcoin, it's going to be interesting to see what comes out on top of Bitcoin and how they try leverage and play around with it. Luke Broyles, good message yesterday in regards to the US government transferring that Bitcoin. We did touch that. We'll get into a few more things, but I thought this was pretty pertinent. America, you're about to make one of the worst single largest monetary mistakes in US history. Don't sell the 30,000 Bitcoin. Don't do it. You'll have to buy back later by printing your own political currency into oblivion, or you'll have to 6102 the Bitcoin ETFs in some fashion. Don't do it. Why would you sell the hardest asset for something that you can just print an endless amount of? Doesn't make any sense. Jason Mercer in the chat. Bitcoin, fire, sale, gargoyle. Shout out to Randall, Hernando, Brian, time chain man. Jason Mercer, uh, Jitsu, Jin, Randall, Michael in the house this morning. Everyone that I have missed. Habib, good to see you. Johnny Midas, good morning. Dracula, Austin in the house. We will get into the banter if you can smash the like button. If you're lurking, don't be weird. Like, Bitcoiners are weird in general. I understand that. 
because you're willing to go down that rabbit hole. But if you are lurking, say good day, smash the subscribe button. If we vibe, it's uh, it's not real hard to say hello. There's some real cool people in the chat. Or stay weird. You do you. Now, everyone wants exposure to Bitcoin. And this is just the start. We're going to see more and more and more of it. So Morgan Stanley execs aim to beat UBS as first wire house with Bitcoin ETF approval. Internal notes reveal they're salty about UBS's recent posts and see the race for Bitcoin ETFs as a competition. Everyone's going to see everyone else making money and they're going to be like, we need to do something here. Let's go. Let's move it. The only reason I bring this up, uh, yesterday, 7.4 magnitude earthquake hits Taiwan. Tsunami warning has been issued. Hearts go out to anyone that lost their lives, that got injured. Another reason why I bring it up and I'll uh, move past that, that picture is they make all the chips for everything. Bitcoin mining for the cars, for our phones. Everything runs on silicon and a lot of that comes out of Taiwan. So we're going to see what this has, you know, on the supply chain. We had a problem during, because of 2020 with cars not being able to get delivered because they're waiting on on the computer chips for them. So we'll see. Hopefully uh, Taiwan didn't suffer too much. That happened yesterday. But we'll we'll see. 2024, the year of chaos. You can opt out. You can buy Bitcoin. Protect yourself and benefit ultimately from it. And the better you do, the better you can do. Alex Gladstein, no one's currency fortune should ever rest in the hands of any corrupt government officials ever. Bloomberg Africa. This, I'll actually repost, do a little bit of your own research here. It's a really good article. Zimbabwe's currency fortunes now rest in the hands of a new central bank governor who has stepped in the top job almost a month before the initial start date of his appointment. He's just stepped in there as well. Zimbabwe and uh, set to announce fade a local currency. It did have a 73% plunge. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you out a little bit because not everyone's going to jump on and read it. Zimbabwe's currency plunged to yet another record low as citizens rushed to the safety of the US dollar amid speculation announcement from the central bank on the fate of the local currency unit is imminent. Definitely not paying for Bloomberg's. The Zimbabwe dollar traded at 22,476 against the greenback, taking its losses this year to 73%. The world's second worst performance only after the Lebanese pound. Even if we're not going through negative 77, 73% losses, everyone's going through losses, ladies and gentlemen. You can't. Like, just opt out, buy Bitcoin. Hard cap, 21 million. The thing's going up and to the right forever. It's it's crazy. When your hands are... When, when your fate is tied in the hands of these officials at the central banks, not what I'm after, not what I signed up for in life. It's amazing. The fight of the day, the US government moved 30,000 Bitcoin to maybe sell... Bring this up again, because do you realize in roughly 40 trading sessions, BlackRock and Fidelity clients bought around 400,000 Bitcoin. This is why it's going to keep going up. Does it slow down over time? Maybe. Maybe not. It depends what's going on in the world. It's just a matter of education. It's... It'll be an interesting year to see what happens with the elections, what happens with the stock market when they start dropping interest rates, or maybe they don't drop interest rates at all and they've been gaslighting us the whole time. There's going to be chaos, havoc. Just sidestep all the noise. One Bitcoin is always one Bitcoin. The fiat dollars change. If it's cheap, hit the buy button. If it goes up, hit the buy button. Enjoy. So... On Tuesday, they still brought in $40.3 million of net inflows. And then Wednesday, $40 million of net inflows as well. Small day. But it's nearly $100 million in two days. It's not a bad thing. 
I personally don't think the bull market is over. Uh, Persian trader corrections are necessary for healthy trends. If you just buy the massive red days and nothing else, you always stay a winner in the long run. Push the red button. Now, Adam Back, this is why I've brought this post up here, because Adam Back is the GOAT. It was about a negative 10% dip from the local top, 71.6K. It's a little bit higher than that. And at about a local top, and about negative 8.5% now. After the 73.6K all-time high, we had a negative 17% dip over two weeks ago. Zoom out perspective and price cycles, there were half a dozen negative 30% drops during the bull market run. The dips mute this cycle, perhaps the ETF inflows. Bitcoin is volatile. Does volatility mean it's risky? Most certainly not. Negative 30% happened over and over and over again. If it happens now... If you've got any fear left, hit the buy button. Don't worry about it. These things are going to happen. Go up to 100,000, down to 70,000, up to 120,000. If we go to 150,000 and then we drop down to 90,000, are you going to cry if you've been buying now? Like zoom out. We've got four years, 10 years, 15. How long are you going to be alive for? They can't make any more Bitcoin. Whatever Bitcoin you have now is potentially the most or whatever Bitcoin you can accumulate this year is 90% certainty the most Bitcoin that you're ever going to have in your life. Don't squander this opportunity. Your life will get better. The world's gone absolutely mad. But when you opt out on a Bitcoin standard, you have hope, you have freedom. It is something that empowers you. It empowers humanity. It is light. It is truth. Follow that. Chase it. Read the books or eat the bugs. Be a little bit harsh. Anyway, Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF no longer in lead by daily outflow. However, according to the latest daily update, Grayscale's GBDC is no longer in the lead by daily outflows despite bleeding $82 million. Uh, supposedly, they put out an article. I couldn't verify it, so I didn't bring it up that they believe the outflows are going to slow down dramatically or stop this week. But you know, it's X. There's so much programming propaganda out there. April 2nd, it was surpassed by ARK Invest, ARK B, which recorded $88 million worth of outflows. As reported by you today, Bitcoin ETS managed to trade an IPOP in $111 billion in March. And you're worried that there's a couple of outflows? It's been that positive. $111 billion. They are unlikely to match this volume in April due to waning demand. Maybe. But then we have May, June, July, the rest of the year, the rest of our lives there. It's not going to stop. Don't listen to that. That makes absolutely no sense. There is only 1.33 million Bitcoin left to be hot mined in 15 to 20 days. It looks like we're going to get it on 420, the meme date. That'd be absolutely hilarious. Even if it was at 69,000 on 420, how cool. Maybe that's going to happen. Maybe that's a trader mentality coming out. I wouldn't be surprised. I think it'd be hilarious. And if the halving happens on 420, I reckon traders are going to make that happen. In my opinion, speculation. Anyway, from 900 being mined per day down to 450 Bitcoin being mined per day. Up and to the right forever. The world's hardest gas asset is getting harder. Now, the market cap has dropped below 1.3 trillion. It's sitting at 1.295 trillion. I believe that means we're no longer um, in front of silver anymore for now. And silver, Peter Schiff is getting so excited about silver. And he's asking you, literally, he's asking you to sell him to like sell your Bitcoin, the world's hardest asset for his silver through his company. He's making it sound like it's all a good thing. I'm sort of having a jab at Peter here. So it's not 100% true. But it, that, like he is literally saying that, that you can use your Bitcoin to buy silver through his website. The speculation is he wants your Bitcoin. How can Peter Schiff not have Bitcoin? Surely he's not that egotistical not to have someone to trust somewhere. Anyway, speculation aside, don't sell your Bitcoin to Peter Schiff. Makes no sense. And we'll overtake silver and then gold and then the rest of the world. $65,731. Can't wait to buy more Bitcoin today, tomorrow. It's great. Keep it down here. It's, it's amazing. 
it felt expensive. Like once we started getting up here, 65, $69,000, Everyone was so euphoric. Twitter was off its head. You see it today. It's so bearish. These are the opportunities where legends are made. The days where legends are made. Be a legend. Buy Bitcoin. Now, 64, I wish, I wish I got Bitcoin at that price. Anyway, 64, 66, who cares? Anyway, 66, 64,673 uh, was the low in the last 24 hours. 66,944 was the high. And the last seven days, 71,551. And so the, the low over the last seven days did happen in the last 24 hours. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Three months. Three months, ladies and gentlemen. From 40,000 to 65 thousand what's going to happen where's bitcoin going to be in another three six twelve eighteen months up and to the right maybe it doesn't happen in that time but bitcoin is going up and to the right forever just quickly that's the news with the fast facts if you haven't already hit subscribe if we vibe we are going to dive into the banter if you want to support the channel the bitcoinlab.io i will put it in the description i forgot yesterday you can get the shirts buy stack and chill Send the Bitcoin bat signal. And if you need help, just protecting your stack, peace of mind, reach out to the Bitcoin way today. 30 minutes, it's free. Now, shout out to all your legends that are here. Gargoyle, Habib, g'day everyone. It's Green Sean, Johnny Midas, Dracula, what's up? I'm not going to try be like the guy off scream. Now, worked out, I'm 16K down and I'm here for it. Yeah, 16K, selling that dirty fit. I get like the, the unit bias, but... And you're doing the right thing, like you're here for it. It's Once you turn it into a positive, like you get excited about being down so much, then you really deserve the upside because you've worked for it and you've gotten control of your emotions and you just enjoy the ride. Buy a stack and chill. It's super easy, but... Gargoyle, I am glad you are here. Gargoyle, maybe not push that much money. Uh, push how much you're down because it's pretty easy to work backwards and find out how much Bitcoin you have. Like, be a little bit sensible with talking about, like, never tell anyone what your stack is, what town you live in. That uh, uh, doesn't make any sense to me. Your OPSEC is critical. And if it's not, like, not your keys, not your coins. Like, it's a tough game. There's no one we can call. And that's in pounds, dirty, fiat. It's a lot more than uh, USD or AUD. God retire already, granny, talking about Janet Yellen. That video keeps going on, like the gaslighting that Yellen puts out. It's, it's crazy. Like, people buy it, they believe it. And blatantly telling lies at the end. Two of them, straight up, 100% lies, that video. It's, it's amazing. People buy it. Hey, everyone, I just got into Bitcoin and bought 10, 000, 10K, 10 grand, a stack, sats, and chill. Hernando, absolutely awesome. Well done. Absolutely well done. That's all you need to do and just chill. Hold it forever. Put that seed on steel. They're like $11. You can get... Better ones, titanium, platinum, seed ore, link in the description, use it or not, whatever. Just please don't store your seed on paper and it has to be off the exchange. And then you're doing the right thing. You're on your bank. It's really not hard, but well done on being here, making the most of it. She clearly lives on planet <laughs> Bull S. Wow, lady. Billy Bob, good morning, Dracula. Um, buying Bitcoins like short and USD with leverage. Yeah, you're, you're selling dollars for the world's hardest asset. Somebody asked me about a node. I will be making a video, so that will be coming soon. It'll be a proper edited video, not a live video. That'll answer your question then. Um, I got the strike app and 25% of my weekly salary wage goes to Bitcoin, auto deposit, stack sets and chill. You have worked it out. Like that's the infinite money glitch. That's the life glitch unlimited power buy stack and chill it's so awesome billy bob uh kathy is cool it's funny the news people ask the same questions over and over again and the gaslighters provide the same answers over and over 
and over again. Kathy, she is a permeable. How can you not be with everything that's going on? Like, what other option is there? Bitcoin's eating the entire world. I'm listening to a three-hour meditation of Michael Saylor. It's absolutely awesome. It's called Bitcoin Meditations on X, and there's three hours of Michael Saylor just talking the gospel of Satoshi. How can you not be convinced that it's the life raft? Larry Fink's calling on a flight to safety, flight to quality. Um, Hernando, Kathy is a little hotty. Uh, FJ in motion. G'day, Sean. Good to see you, Randall. Oh, wow. Another halving. I didn't see that coming. Hey, Bill, what do you think is going to happen? I don't know, Joe. Let's ask more questions. Shout out to all the Bitcoin savages making the world a better place, safer, more equal. Your and non-names will live through Satoshi and infamy. I love that time chain, man. Um, ARK Bitcoin ETF had a negative yesterday, I think. Yeah, I think negative. Was that yesterday or the day before? The $88 million, the largest outflows of all of them. I am a bull with a perm. I am alpha male uh, bullish. The year 2036, so Bitcoin halving is coming. Andrew seems shocked. Yeah. Um, totally agree, and she's getting on in age too. Wem women, when they, sorry, toxic, masculine, incoming, when a woman ages well, they get better with age, in my opinion. Bitcoin is the UFC of the currency monetary game. Bitcoin fire sale morning legend. Good to see you, Jason Mercer. G'day, Sean. Great show, mate. Um, Jitsu uh, Jin, Bitcoin is the future, just as the internet was in the 90s. Keep up the great content. Love from the UK. Truly appreciate you. Appreciate everyone that is watching live. Randall, in 20 years, they will be making 14 Bitcoin a day, 170th the amount now. Absolutely crazy, hey? And eventually be none 2032 it goes under one bitcoin a day if i'm not mistaken it's running out but regardless of it like the halving yes i get it there's only 21 million coins so many are lost satoshi's most likely not coming back i don't think they can be spent 21 million you're dividing everything the whole world by 21 million that's it that's that's the game. Get as much of that 21 million as you can, as much of the world as you can, and hold on for dear life. HODL. That's what that stands for. Thanks to a drunk guy and his girlfriend going to a lesbian bar, the meme HODL was born. True story. That's where it came from. Michael, turned off my workout tunes for your broadcast. So with it. Keep up the good work. Michael, appreciate you, mate. Neil Patton, g'day. John Kidwell, Good to see you this morning. Soul Surfing Morning, brother. Live from under the rain cloud in Byron. Nice. Soul Surfing, I think I asked you about it, but have you been snorkeling on those two shipwrecks just out from Byron? Absolutely epic, especially when all the jellyfish are there and just float. And it's just awesome. There's so many fish. Um, listening from Spain. Amy, how cool. I've seen so many videos, pictures of Spain that the country just looks so glorious and green. It looks like God's country. Expose myself daily to Bitcoin. Absolutely, Gargoyle, with you there. Crypto Creeper. Uh, um, dot, 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 green, maybe. Hey, chat, I'm not weird. Good to see you. Um, Elohimization. Elohimization. Hopefully I've said that correctly. It is good to see you not being a weird lurker. It, it's absolutely awesome. I get it. Bitcoin people are weird. The etymology of the word weird is spiritual in nature. The reason I know that is because people have called me weird my whole life. And they said it was like it was a bad thing. And then I found out that etymology was a spiritual in nature. I'm like, cool, call me weird. If you're normal, like I want to be weird. Like stuff the normies. It's, uh, I don't know. Bitcoin people, they're all weird. But you are all amazing. So don't let anyone shut you down for that. You may feel crazy at times. You're truly doing the right thing. Um, garden planting with the G baby today. Awesome. Nothing better than touching grass. I'm playing tongue in cheek. Definitely not your neighbor's grass. Um, but yeah, planting trees. Like that's what adds 
to the world, to our life. They keep us alive. So if we keep them alive, it's a, a symbiotic relationship there. When you submerge yourself in Bitcoin, it really does change the way you look at the world. 100% shook a few dollars out of the sofa cushions today and bought some more sats on sale. 96 on 420. Dracula, let's get at it. Real fact, silver was used in medical tools because germs can't survive on it. Awesome. The colloidal silver is something interesting as well. I don't know if it actually has silver, and I believe it does. Um, but yeah, silver's got properties, but Bitcoin's taken over. It's just better form of money. I get it. The use case is use it for industry, use gold for industry. It doesn't need to be money anymore. And gold will still hang around. I get it. But my wife said we need some more money to pay the mortgage for a year. I said we need some more money to buy a farm and five. She capitulated. Yeah, we're having these same conversations as well here. All I can every day these days are numbered. We have to thank US Gov for selling that 30K Bitcoin. They'll give us more cheap sats to stack. Yes, we've got the idea, ladies and gentlemen. Buy, stack, and chill. It's all over it. No second best. G'day show. Let's effing go. Rock and roll. Sailor is a legend. Uh, 2032, 0.78125 block reward subsidy with a global average inflation rate of 0.225%. The magic of Bitcoin. It's just so grand and glorious like in every way. It's just so beautiful. Look at that. That's the blocks. Even that's beautiful. Toxic masculinity and then gives the coolest comment that even my wife is like. <laughs> Appreciate that time chain, man. These are incredible. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. If you want to support the channel, do yourself a favor and buy as much Bitcoin as you possibly can. I'll tell you why. Because it's on sale. It's only $65,000. Only. You don't need to go out and buy a whole one. I get it. You don't need to. $5, $2, $10, $50, $10,000, whatever it is, please. If you're getting freaked out, just buy it and stop looking at the number or get used to the number because it's going to start swinging dramatically. Ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 days to the, up to the downside. We've been talking about this for a long time, but if you're new here, Bitcoin is going to do that. That's cool. Bitcoin just does that. But over time, it just continues to go up. Look, here's the chart up and to the right. It's only over three months. But if we look at the last 24 hours, it's volatile. It's choppy. Seven days. Oh, it's down. One month. It's choppy and it's sideways. Three months. Up and to the right. When in doubt, just zoom out. And if you buy the very top, just DCA all the way down, all the way back up, and you're good. Don't stuff up this opportunity. The world's going crazy. And if the world doesn't all collapse overnight, Bitcoin's still going up. If it does collapse overnight, it's going up even more. It's protection, it's freedom, it's power. Please do it. It's a gift. Don't get shaken out. Make the most of it. And whatever you can do to be able to stay level, like we're down 0.4% today, 0.6%. Now it's down nine grand from the top. It's on sale. It's not a bad thing. If you bought some then, buy more now. Bring your cost basis down. But you're selling Fiat. Fiat, they're inflating it away. We saw that chart. Anyway, Mr. Android gets it. I'm numb. The ups and the downs and the halving is soon. Just buy the dip. You've got it. Yes, financial advice. Stack. Time chain, man. But I second that. Buy, stack, and chill as much as you possibly can. It's the game. You'll change your life. And when you change your life, you can help more and more people. Have a beautiful day. Do something nice for someone. We'll see you tomorrow. Be blessed. Peace.